Did y'all like that uh, AN6 transmission lines install video? Y'all did? No, I mean, like, did you like it? Did you click the like button? Cool, cool. Um, go ahead and do me a favor. Just let's start off by liking this video right now. This video is going to be how to install a dipstick into your LS swap pretty easy. Philip uh, commented on a video. I released it on uh, Patreon early, like three hours early. I'm going to release a transmission dipstick video like around 8 o'clock on uh, YouTube. By the time this video is out, that video already be out. But Philip said uh, he didn't know that you could do the transmission lines. That way he just cut his original lines and ran the uh, hoses from there. So I was like, you know what? Let me show you all about the dipstick. All right, let's get it. So what we have here is a 94 Impala. It's a 6.0 4L 80E transmission. The original transmission that comes in these cars are super, super, super hard uh, transmissions. Um, not the transmission, the, uh, the transmission dipsticks are really hard. As you can see, it was extremely hard to get this one in, but it is doable, you can do it. It just takes a lot of bending and you need a decent amount of space. This one, on these ones, you can get away with it. So for the, uh, for this application here, <clears throat> there's no way you're gonna bend that tube and get it in there. On uh, my buddy Jeff car, the 95 Impala with the 406E transmission, I was able to bend his line and you know, bend his uh, uh, the dipstick too. I was able to bend that one and get it in there. But this 480, man, it's just a different kind of beast. So what I got for you guys today is it's going to be a 4L80E dipstick. And it's a braided dipstick. This is your part number that you need if you guys want to do it. If you want to do it for a 4L60E, just type in 4L60E. Uh braided dipstick or locker braided dipstick whatever you want to type in that'll, that'll pull it right up so this is got interrupted on the phone call so this little thing here swivels you can basically mount it on the back of the firewall somewhere or you can just leave it dangling but just push it down and they're very flexible so just push it down as far as you can basically almost you can't even see it and it's going to make it easier Jack the car up, and um, as you can see, it actually went over here to this side. You see it? Right there. Just push it all the way down towards where your transmission is. And um, there you go. Now, um, jack your car up. I'm gonna use the lift, and I'll meet you at the bottom. Down here at the bottoms, there's our transmission lines looking good. First thing first, there's your uh, the hole that is going to go in. Yeah, I said it. Make sure there's no uh, no rubber piece in there. If it is, take it out because your new locker cable dipstick comes with the one. So basically, just aim it in, aim it here, and get in. Give me a quick second. Yeah, so basically make sure it doesn't have a rubber hole. Uh, make sure it doesn't have any rubber, this rubber piece inside of there. And if it doesn't, you're all good. And uh, aim it in and go for what you know. You know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Get out the way, don't you sensor. Uh, now you got the dipstick right there. As you can see, the dipstick is all the way inside flush. Make sure it's all the way down. And then after that, uh, jack your car down, or let your car, <laughs> let your car down. I'm going to let the lift down. So now all you have to do is uh, find your cable, the 
because they always disappear once you pull them down. Well, mine actually went to the other side. Oh, yeah, I don't know about that other side. Uh, never, never mind, never mind. Gotta make the videos kid friendly. The kids out here that want to do LS swaps. So, um, after that, this is what I will say about these uh, dipsticks that I hate. Looks pretty, right? Looks beautiful, Mike. Looks gorgeous. So. This is the focus. I'm trying to let you guys. Oh, it's on the other side anyway. So if you look here, okay. This is what I hate about these dipsticks. One side says full. This is the full side. This side says low. And it's hard to read these um, on a 4L ADE transmissions. They take, uh, oh, I know I'm about to get so much heat for this, man. They take 12 to 14 quarts. That's a big gap. But if you look it up on Google, that's what it's going to say, 12 to 14 quarts. And if they have, like, the Moser style, like the deep pin, it's up to, like, uh, like 14 to 16 quarts. I, that's a lot of damn transmission fluid. Don't quote me. Don't go putting that in your transmission fluid and, and your transmission and mess your transmission up and blame me. Look up to your car specs. Um, but yeah, this is how, that's basically how you install a transmission uh, dipstick into your car. It's quick, it's easy. That's the best way to do it. So that's another LS swap tip. Uh, the cable costs. We went to uh, Fig Speed out here in Henderson, Nevada. At Fig Speed, it was $105. So uh, I'm sure you could probably find it cheaper, but you're probably gonna spend for sure, I don't know, I'm gonna say 90 to 100 bucks for sure. But let me install it, the dipstick real quick. The... So there she is. That's how it looks, in, um, looks installed. You can mount it pretty much anywhere. They're flexible. Mount it to the firewall. Normally I mount mine somewhere right there. Or you could just leave them be. It comes with this cool little tube. Do not throw this away. This tube fits flush inside of there. This tube fits right inside there like so. And you put your, uh, your funnel in there and fill up your transmission uh, fluid so like I said, man, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. If you do, please smack that like. If you're new to the channel, please go ahead and subscribe. And if you love the video, look in the description below. There's links to donate to the channel and leave because a dollar.